Hello my wonderful weirdos. I am bringing you another video. This will technically be two videos in one. It will be my July sketch update, which I am sorry that it is so late. I've just been so busy. And I also did some shopping. Some of it's from Amazon. Some of it I just needed to pick up again. So I will go through that at the end. But first I think we'll do my art. All right, I'm going to use this actually as a kind of a little desk oh, so you guys can see better. All right, now i got to find where we left off, which I believe was here. Okay, so at the time I drew this, uh, this was a new style. You will see that my style has changed within the past month a lot, like a lot, a lot. And this is my OC Belladonna. Um, her story has changed. And so has her look. You'll see that later. But yeah, I've started using her as an RP character. So her story has definitely changed. And I know you'll be seeing more characters from her story. Um, this is a failed attempt at drawing a fursona. I kind of gave up on furries because I really can't draw furries that well. Like, actual, like, the kind of furries I want to draw. Um, then this was a random pen sketch I just did at work. Now here, I took one of my original characters and turned them into a mouse after watching one of Terry the Sketcher's uh, live streams, because I really liked the idea of how her mice looked more human but still had some features of a mouse. So this is Marine. Um, I did a couple of facial of expressions. And no, these are not her true colors. This is just all I had at the time. And I'm like, I can't leave these uncolored. Um, these are just some notes that I made. Um, and then here's some more. Here she's half asleep, angry, embarrassed, sad. Um... And I've been starting to sketch with uh, some Crayola Cole erase pencils. Uh, this used to be a lot, lot longer. I've been sketching like crazy lately because here is a new one that has not been used. So, from comparison, yeah, I've been sketching like nuts. Anyways, back to the art. Um, the next page I did a full body sketch. Um, I'm probably going to end up redoing this because I didn't like how the colors turned out on her. Uh, these aren't her actual colors, so it, it bothered me a little bit. But um, her story's a little complicated, still working out some kinks. And then here I started designing Spike. Now, he is from Marine's original story as well. I just thought, you know what, since I'm changing one character, why not change the other one? So here are some ideas I had for Spike, but I didn't like the way they had turned out. Um, I, I have an idea of what I want to do for him now, but the whole problem is, is I don't really like sketching in this sketchbook anymore. It's... I still have like that much left so I've been I'm about halfway through it it's just I'm growing tired of it so I'm trying to um, use other sketchbooks until I want to start sketching in this one again it's just it it doesn't really work for what I want it to work for it's not hard cover it's a soft cover so I can't really take it traveling with me unless I have a table and that that's annoying enough and I think this would be more of a kind of an idea sketchbook Okay, and then on the next page, I had started sketching something, but I grew tired of it, and I'm just like, nope, I'm done. So, yeah, then here's the blank page. Okay, so that's the first sketchbook. Now, this sketchbook, this one's actually a new one I just bought because I figured this one would be better for traveling. It's a hardcover. Um, yeah, it's a little bit thicker. It's a sketchbook by um, Simply from the Walmart brand. I got a couple of stickers on here. I have um, a Slytherin sticker on the front and then 
I got this from a pack of uh, Cracker Jack. Um, on the back, I'm hoping to put a sticker I just bought uh, from the Gotta Draw Them All Eddie uh, series she did because she drew me or he. It's a she or he. I can't remember which. I'm thinking she. And I had bought mine, but it hasn't come in yet, so I will just show you what's in here. I can actually remove this rubber band. Alright, so. Oops. Too many pages forward. Style change. This is my OC Dominic slash Domix. Um, the original Domix, I changed his name because, like I said, this one's an RP character of mine. Um, Domix is his uh, split personality and completely opposite. Domix is really rude, sadistic, mean, murderistic. He's a serial killer. And then Dominic is sweet as pie. You, you couldn't get enough of him. He's adorable and he's like six foot one. So he's just this gentle giant and it's so adorable. And then this is Zoe. Uh, she's another RP character of mine. Um, she's my only ginger right now, but I just love her. She, she has a mutation where she can turn into metal and she doesn't really get along with people. Her best friend is literally her gun Carlos, which ironically enough is the name of another character of mine, but I have a whole I gotta work on that still. So yeah, this is um, Zoe. And all of these ones are uh, bust shots, like uh, shoulders up, because as you can tell, these this wouldn't be really good for a full body. Um, then here is Lula. Now I know she looks a little bit green. I tried giving her an olive skin tone, which is what she's supposed to have. And um, she's actually a werewolf, but instead of turning during the full moon, she turns during the new moon, so she's a little little on the strange side for werewolves, and actually this is my childhood nickname, so I'm like, well, I'm going to name her Lula Darling. Okay, now this, actually, this character never existed until I started RPing with Lula. This is Lula's daughter, Lily, at the age of, not Lily, uh, Ruby. Lula's daughter, Ruby, at the age of two. I'm not used to drawing children, but I gotta say, she turned out pretty damn good. But yes, um, she's actually not just mine. Um, Lula ended up getting married in the RP, and so there's another person out there who can claim half credit for Ruby. But yeah, this is her daughter that was born in that specific RP. And I had asked his permission to claim his character as her father, so... Yeah, so she has two parents who both end up dying in the RP, unfortunately, but that's a whole different story. But yeah, this is her at the age of two, and she's just so adorable. And then this is Ruby at the age of 20. She, she has maintained her curly hair, her mother's curly hair. She has her mother's curly hair, like uber curlistic. Yeah, uber curlistic so curly it's crazy but yeah she inherited that from her mom and then her blue eyes actually come from her dad which I absolutely love and same with her pale skin um but otherwise as you saw her mom had yellow eyes but that's from being a werewolf um and then this is one of my original characters Ka Onashi uh it is it means no face in Japanese. Um, technically, Kaonashi has no gender. Um, the mask is literally his, literally its face. Um, has really no emotions other than hunger. Uh, very tranquil, peaceful, zen kind of character. Until you either anger them or endanger them, then... This whole mask splits at the mouth and just like this giant mouth comes out with sharp teeth and a long like venom like tongue, you know, like venom from uh, Spider-Man. But yes, so that is how it is written in English. And for anyone who writes in Japanese, please excuse my terrible handwriting, but I tried my hardest. 
and that is how it is written in Japanese. I, like I said, I tried my hardest, but with the pen I had, it just wasn't going well for me. So, yes, and yes, this is left over right. He is not, it is not dead. So, it is wearing the kimono in the correct fashion, and yes, it is a purple under kimono. Even though they have blue hair, it is weird. He's, Kao Nashi's just weird. Um, and then I think this is the last sketch. Let me check real quick in this one. Yes, this is the last sketch. So this is my OC, Clarissa. Um, Clarissa's actually a little, a little bit of a complex story. She was created specifically for the RP that I used her in. So she's, she's considered a sharpshooter because she can see farther than the average human. And no, she's not genetically modified in any way. She's kind of like Hawkeye, except she's not deaf. She's female. And, well, <laughs> she's not stupid. She has two quivers. She's always had two quivers. But yes, this is her from the head down. Um, I'm having a little troubles uh, drawing different eye shapes for different um, nationalities. As you can tell here, she's supposed to be Japanese. Uh, she's half Japanese, half American. She is, she was technically born in the 1930s, I think. And yeah, she was born in the 1930s and then kind of like Captain America, she got cryogenically frozen, except his wasn't on purpose. Hers was. And then she was just brought back recently to fight for this organization that captured her to begin with but um yeah she she's a very sharp shooter very sharp shooter she's amazing and actually this one is my favorite sketch out of this whole book but yes I plan on doing all of my original characters in this one because like I said there's a lot of pages in here I now have over uh, I think over 50 original characters so trying to mash them all out will be a little tough but yeah, so that's that sketchbook. And now for the one I've been working in lately. And I have paper clip, like I have clipped all of the ones that don't need to be seen. And then I'm going to unclip all the ones I've worked on recently. Okay, so most of these are either going to be random characters. Um, they're all done in colored pencil too. Like the ones in the black sketchbook, the ones in this sketchbook, all colored pencil. Um, but I've had to throw out, as you can tell in the back there, I no longer have my giant white container of colored pencils. Um, they got old and started being really brittle and they just wouldn't rub off too much color. So I've been, I've been using my little 12 set of Prismacolors, but it's hard finding a good skin tone. So I snuck one of my old ones out and just used it. But this is just a random character. Um, originally, I drew this for a D and D character idea, but I'm not sure if that's going to be in the works anymore. Um, we've been having some problems with a few people who haven't been wanting to uh, do any of the work to create their characters, so we're kind of fighting that one out. Um, this one is actually a redraw. I posted this on Instagram. Um, I had this marvelous character idea a long time ago, and I want to think it was for some sort of comic book. I think it was DC. She's supposed to live in the Batman world like um, Shade was, but I've replaced Shade with Spade because I like her concept better. I've already had her designed out. I already had a story for her, and Shade just was not working for me. So... I brought back Spade and she is one kick-ass assassin but for right now she is only solely in the confines of my sketchbook and I will not show you the original sketch it is horrid okay um I gotta do uno momento por favor I gotta find something real quick okay so on this next page Please do not hate me for the rest of my life. Um, m one of my family members said, I want to see you draw someone in a gas mask. So I drew a gas mask based off of World War II, 
but um, the symbol on the helmet is highly offensive, so that's why I have it covered up. I don't need anyone accusing me of being racist or anything. I just, I drew it because that was the style I based it off of. I based it off of a picture and that was the side that the picture was for. So there's that. It's just, like I said, it's just a random ass sketch. Um, oh, good Lord. No, you don't see that. Okay, down. <laughs> now this one, um, this one is actually, this is photo referenced. I tried my hand at realism. Um, this is my girlfriend. No, you do not get to know her name. You just get to know that she is my girlfriend and her nickname is Strawberry. Um, but yeah, this was a photo reference she sent me. The arms I really had no idea about, so that's why they look a little funky. I had literally from like here to here in the photo. So you didn't really see the bottom part of her arm or anything. That's why the arms look like they don't belong. And then, oh, I gotta actually turn this one. Like I said, um, here is the new look for Belladonna. Now, in the RP I used her in, it was set in like the mid mid 18th century, mid 19th century maybe, where she was. Uh, let's just say there was lots of pirates, and I'm sorry, I'm having troubles with this. There we go. Yes, uh, it was basically set back into the time of pirates, kind of like in the Pirates of the Caribbean. So this is my OC Belladonna. Um, she is no longer full vampire. She is half vampire, half succubi, uh, succubus. Her father was an incubus who met a vampire, and well, bum bum bum, they created that. Because technically, succubus cannot be born; they are created. So this is my character. Um, she was sold to a brothel when she was five and she was, let's just say she didn't really start working there until she was about 15 and she fought back. So they ended up locking her in the basement and that's kind of where she works out of now, but she escaped and met Edward who is, um, one of my friends, uh, we call, we call them cushy Khan. But, uh, I cannot remember the, the full username, but I'm just going to go with Cushy Ken. This is their OC. Uh, this is Edward. He's a pirate. Um, he doesn't like brothels. But in the RP, these two end up becoming an item. And, yes, I messed up on his sleeve there. I hate myself for that. It's like, oh, I'm going to color blue. Wait a minute. No. His shirt goes through his sleeve. That's not right. So I decided to draw both of them together. Um, I did not do their backgrounds yet. I was waiting until I got this, my lovely Amazon box, before I did their backgrounds. Um, I'm kind of kind of plan like a bar scene for her side and a ship or a shipyard for his. But yeah, they come from two completely different worlds. Um, he technically has two different colored eyes, but the side that you see, it's the green eye, which actually worked for me because then she has red eyes. So they don't both have red eyes. He has one green, one red, and she has two red. And the next picture is my lovely Todd. He is a, well, see, I used him in the same RP, but he's more modernized in this picture. He is a voodoo priest from a long line of voodoo priests. Um, he is also a certified boy toy. And he has a raven demon familiar. But I know Narelle Busby, shout out to her, loves him. And I gave him a makeover because I did not like his original style. So I modernized him from the RP and just went from what I used in the RP, including this lovely tattoo, which is actually a tribal raven. I need to sketch the full thing out on his neck, but there he is. And yes, that is a braid. I know I suck at braids, but yes, he's just oh, gorgeous. And then the last sketch I have that I still need to finish, Madame Claire. She is the owner of the brothel that Belladonna works in or works in. <clears throat> 
And yes, her hair is literally chaotic. That's why she doesn't do the work. Uh, she has the girls work for her. And this is supposed to be a kimono, but she doesn't wear it the correct way. She literally wears it the absolute wrong way. And she wears it really sleazy because she's just, she thinks she's all, all that and all gorgeous, but in all honesty, she scares the living crap out of the, out of the customers. So that's why she doesn't get customers. Okay. Now that the art is done, let us get into the unboxing of the Amazon box. Well, okay. Technically I've already unboxed it. I haven't, um, used any of the stuff in here. It is all new. Not all of it is from Amazon. Um, some of it I had to go buy because I ran out like an eraser or something. But now let's me remove the tape I put on it. If I can scissors help scissors help sharp things guys remember always have sharp things when opening boxes but be careful okay let us dig in all right so first things first i bought a three pack of the classic jelly roll pens in white so now i don't have to use ridiculous white out because Whiteout got really chunky and flaky on me, and I hated that. So now I can actually do some decent uh, work with white. Uh, next, I bought a couple more sketch pens because it's just getting hard to find refills, and my pens, most of them are broken now. So I bought a couple more sketch pens. I love these pens for doing ballpoint sketches. Um, these are the Zebra F301 pens. I got a two-pack. Uh, it's this 0, 0.7 millimeter fine print black point or fine point black ink uh, durable stainless steel. I love these pens. These are amazing. Um, and then I got a couple of Prismacolor colorless um, pencil blenders because one of my friends told me that using my little paper stumps didn't um, how do I want to say it? Didn't blend them to the full, didn't blend them fully. It, you could still see where I use the two separate colors. So they told me to get a pair of these or some, one of these. I ended up getting a two pack because it was cheaper for these two. So there's that. Then I got another sketchbook. I got the Strathmore toned gray sketchbook. It has 50 sheets. It is the which one is it? Which one is it? I can't remember the size. Oh, five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. Um, I'm, I'm kind of leery. I don't know if I want to start using this one quite yet. Um, but yeah, it's just gray paper. I already have a tan toned one and that is the, that is the earthbound recycled sketchbook I got from Barnes and Noble. This one is, um, five by seven so it's a little bit smaller than this one um I mean I want to use it I'm excited to use it but I'm also scared at the same time because I've never used toned paper like this I mean I could care less really about the tan one because I mean it's just a small sketchbook it's not like I'm gonna do finished finished pieces in it whereas that one I want to actually do some finished pieces then next I had to um buy a new pencil sharpener because mine the uh actual sharpening part broke out of the lid and then I tried super gluing it back in well the super glue got all over the blade and ended up um tearing chunks out of my pencils so I'm like you know this ain't gonna work I need a new pencil sharpener so I went to Walmart and I bought a 94 cent sharpener I mean come on it's just gonna sharpen pencils it's nothing fancy I just wanted one with a container on it I mean because I have a couple more and they're just the actual sharpening part but for on the go I want one with a container so there's that um if I can reach in here all right I got some more click erasers because the one I have literally is almost gone um these are the where's oh wrong side <laughs> pentel click erasers 
Oh, focus, focus, focus. There we go. Pentel Click Eraser. I got the three pack. Um, so it comes with three different colors. I mean, they're all white erasers, but three different color styles. Um, red, blue, black. I used to have another one, so I shouldn't have had to have buy these, but I lost my backup. So now I have more erasers so I can actually erase stuff when I sketch. I'm happy. Very happy. I don't have to conserve my eraser anymore. Then since I ended up having to throw out all my old Crayolas, I went and bought a 24 pack of just some Crayola color pencils uh, for when I want to do just quick coloring and not really fancy um, Prismacolor color. color uh, coloring because I actually want to save my Prismacolor color pencils for finish like super finished pieces and I don't know if I'm going to be doing commissions or anything soon I do want to start selling some art but my problem is is I don't think I have a big enough uh, customer base to start doing that so I got these I also have my, like I said my 12 pack of Prisma Prisma color color pencils and then I also have my Prisma color color Prisma colored markers. Bleh. And then I also have my Crayola markers. So it's not like I'm without. But for the final, I think it's the final. Let me look. Yes, it is the final thing in this one. One of my friends told me that I needed to get more Prisma color markers because they were unhappy. Unhappy with my little tin a Prisma Color colored pencils, and plus a few random ones I bought from the bookstore at school. They were unhappy with my color selection. They're like, no, you need more. So they gave me money, and I bought the 48 pack of Prisma Color colored pencils. I did take the plastic off of this to look inside and make sure none of the pencils were broken. So that's the only reason why there is no plastic on it. But just look at those colors. I mean, they're gorgeous. I mean, I actually have good skin tones. They're beautiful skin tones. Like, marvelous. I have more browns, more greens. I actually have purples. I have blues. I have pinks. I have oranges. Because in that one, you don't get crap for color choices. You get your basics, and that's about it. And then, if you remove this layer, look at that. That, mm, that is just so beautiful. It makes me want to cry. It actually makes me want to cry. And my favorite part is the fact that they actually have a cream color color pencil. And it's not just a white. So now I can do something that's a little off-white. The only thing I'm not happy about in this particular set is the fact that it has two metallic pencils. I'm not the biggest fan of metallic pencils. I don't like using them. Because if you ask me, that's kind of the lazy way out to do something with metallic but I really can't complain because I do, I do have a couple of metallic markers that are gold and silver. So I guess having the pencils actually kind of helps because then this way I can do some more stuff with the, with the markers. As you can tell, they're just right over here hiding, right over here hiding. But yeah, so I am so happy because I now have a light peach and a peach so I can do like really light skin and normal skin and then I also have something called blush pink that means I don't have to use the straight up pink for blushes I actually have a blush pink that works with the light peach so it doesn't so my characters don't look like they're a clown I am just I am so excited about this so excited about this but yes that is my update and I am very glad you guys could join me. I'm sorry for the long video. It's just I figured I haven't updated you guys in a while. So I thought I would update you. But yes, now I have wonderful color pencils. I have better, cheaper color pencils. And I have more supplies. I am just very happy. So I will see you guys next time. Hasta luego.